the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. I hope that he get killed. That's all I want, man. Trevor got to kill this dude. Alright, this is almost two miles away. I really don't feel like driving there. I wish I could call a cab. Um. Oh, I can switch the mic? Oh, bet. I hope he already there. Let's check it out. Alright. Let's switch to him. Come on, please be there. Please be there. Come on, Mike. I don't feel like driving. I'm a terrible driver. Good looking. Come on, man. You got damn uh, chain smoker. Shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom. Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> Hold on, did he just let him... Guys, you see advertising pills for Why are you holding his arm and stuff? What, what was he doing? Hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? All right, I'm going to have to Google his name later, because obviously I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> then a tail catcher. <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You. Where did we meet? Uh oh. Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep bastard of the way from me. No. Yo, no, ain't that the dude we he's saved? Gone. He's gone. Huh? It's okay. I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael. And this. This is Trevor. Uh oh. No. Your worst no, nightmare. Here. All right. So basically, the dude David Weston. He was basically anything. punching on him. He was he was nothing, torturing nothing. him. I don't know anything. Please, please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis? I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. <laughs> no? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. Oh, it's about to go down. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I told, hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What is, is that a heart monitor? Hey, this whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. Oh, you were no. gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency. I know what type of case that is. That's a sniper rifle case. What is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. I thought Franklin was the better sniper out of all the bunch. I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your. Oh, can't switch to nobody, so. All right, let's go. Mm, pretty nice car. Kind of reminds me of a, I would say a Beamer. Yeah. Not a 745, but, but a Beamer. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? Oh, is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. 
I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? Ah! You've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the... Watch it! We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you... Goddamn right he did. After the bus, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was... I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Alright. Well, it looks like it's going to be a problem between Trevor and this guy. Because Trevor obviously doesn't forget a face. And he is a psychopath. So, we'll see when things happen. When this old thing develops. But, uh, let's see what we got here. Who the hell is that? Wait, wait, this guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Uh oh. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Who in the hell gets a coffee at night? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Oh my god. And go to work on where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want! Huh, man? Huh, please! Look at me, please! <laughs> okay, what should I go with? How about a wrench? Mm. I know Azerbaijanis! Don't wanna electrocute them. Uh, I wonder what the grips is for. Is that for, like, pulling off some nails or some teeth? Maybe. All right, let's try to wrench. Feel a thing. I will, now, where I will. am I going to hit him? That's no, the question. No. I know I don't want to crack his skull in, so... so I hope you're not mm. That's a cracked kneecap. Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Uh, uh, why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right? Into the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> I truly hate this guy. I just want to point that out right now. Let's see how far I gotta drive. Oh, I gotta drive another half in a mile. Oh God! Please don't crash again. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. Like I'm not trying to listen well, like to said, this boy voice guys, for another mile and a half. Like come on. GTA is torturing my ears right now. The agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davy. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, 
So that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. Wow. The Chinese write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. Yeah, man. Oh, this story is going to develop very, very nicely. I'm going to love to see when Trevor goes off the Richter on these dudes. How you ain't going to tell him his main man, Brad, is six feet under? Like, that's, that's some sad shit. All right. Find out who we're looking but for. I guess that's what happens when yeah, a person has a to fake, fake a death. So yeah. you had to have uh, somebody. I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him up. No. Please. Oh, we got to keep going? Okay. Hmm. What should I use next? What should I use next, guys? Leave it in the comment section. What should I use next? What should I go with? Any mini money mo. Any mini money mo. Any mini money mo. Any mini money. How about we use this gasoline jug? I wonder what's in it. Let's see what he does with it. Obviously, I know he doesn't have. He can't light him on fire because he's gonna die. So it must be. Oh, I seen it waterboarding. Okay. Uh oh. It's over now. Somebody put a cloth over this man's face because it's about to go down. Yeah. And I believe that the government really does do this. I, yep. I ain't. I ain't holding nothing back. I think the government ain't shit. Uh oh. That enough? I don't want to kill a guy. All right. That's not enough. Want me to keep going? All right, I'm go. No? Damn. This dude, he must can take a lot then. But I guess I'll hold it then. He's had enough. All right, cool. I'm alive. Of course you're alive. It's torture. It's not called murder. <laughs> Alright, what we hey, got? Hey, hey, hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy. This dude mumbling like a motherfucker. Like. Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better dark be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, <laughs> whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? Okay. Let me look down the barrel. Looking through the scope. Let's see who we got. Okay. We're live. Said he's see dark. Down there who might be in Average build. You might medium be height. For all I know. What's one look like? Everybody's the same. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand uh, everybody, out? Everybody they, looks they all the same. Kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. Oh man, this dude about to get tortured some more. He, he's gonna have to blame himself for this. Alright, switch to Trevor. I gotcha. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, 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 let me think. I... <laughs> Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's <laughs> won today. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is fierce. Alright, what we got next? What we got next? What we got next? What we got next? Any mini money more? Any mini money more? Any mini money more? Any mini money more? Any mini money? Hmm. How about giving this dude the shock of his life? Let's do it. Uh oh. Okay, what we got? Ooh. Yeah, buddy. You burning now. I'm playing with you. You scared? You scared? Mm. It's about to go down. Check your nipples. They on fire. Is somebody cooking a hot nipple? I think he's getting a stiffy. So what have you got for us? Hmm? 
We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 no,
Okay. Maybe I was supposed to hit the other leg. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so I gotta drop this dude off to the airport, and it's almost a mile and a half away. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kinda. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Okay, none of that made sense. Uh, <laughs> Trevor just be tripping sometimes. Run, you're free. How you gonna tell a man to run that just got a wrench to the knee though? Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? Was that an really? iPhone on a wall? Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on, cut back Come to on. the other scene. Come on, give me another angle. Oh man. Is that an iPhone? Oh shit. He just fell down the steps. Alright, well, that mission passed. Well guys, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I almost got all the uh, things completed for the uh, mini parts of the mission. But uh, I was trying to get that iPhone angle. <laughs> but um, this is IKC signing out. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And uh, check the about section as well. Go ahead, click the tweet or like the video. Peace, y'all. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.